So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how to use combo boxes. And for this, you're going to need this developer tab. And if you don't have that, go to file, then go to options, customize ribbon, and make sure developers checked, then click OK. After this, to insert a combo box, I'm going to go to developer, insert, and in form controls, here is a combo box. And I'm going to draw it in over cell A8, like that. Then, because there is no information that I can select, you have to right click the control, go to format control, and our input range are these foods. And my cell link, I'm going to use B8. And I have 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 drop down lines. So type in a 9 and click OK. Now, when I select the text box, I can select one of the values that are here. So let's say I pick fish. Now it's counted 1, 2, 3, 4, and return 4 for fish. If I change it to apple, give me 1. And if I pick, let's say, bananas, it gives me 9. Now this is not very useful, especially if I want these food codes. So what I'm going to do is use the index function. So you go into the next cell, type in equals index, and here it's asking for an array. So I want to use this array here. And whatever, and the row number is this row here, 9, or whatever B8 is. And there is no column number, so you don't even have to put that in. And just press enter. And it's given me F, which is the food code for bananas. So now if I change it to apple, it stays as F. Let's say if I change it to fish, it should change to meat for M. I mean M for meat. But there is a problem. Um, sorry. If you want to sort the data... So if you had combo boxes and you wanted to sort the data, these combo boxes wouldn't be sorted. So to get around this, you can use something called data validation, which is similar to this. So I'm going to do data validation in cell A9. Actually, I'm going to do it in cell A10. So to do this, go to cell A10, click on data, and just click data validation. And I'm going to allow a list and my source is here of course you can put the source in a different sheet if you want and I'm not going to ignore a blank and I'm going to have it in a cell drop down then click OK so now you can see I have this drop down like that and now this cell actually contains the word chicken so and now what I'm going to do is use a VLOOKUP function so equals VLOOKUP if you want more advice on how to use this, please see my VLOOKUP tutorial. And our lookup value is chicken. And our table array is this. The column index number is 2. And I can... And I want a exact match, so false. and it's giving me M. So now if I select again, and I pick cucumber, it gives me V for vegetable. So this concludes the combo box tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.